Alcott come out onto the pitch led by their skipper Fraser Harness and here come Melrose led out by their captain Scott White so Selkirk line up with Cal Marshall Ben Mayer, Rob Taylor, Scott Henry, Fraser Harness, Gavin Craig and Lee Jones and Melrose line up well the usual suspects in there John Dale you've got Graham Dodge in there also Bill Wallace, Scott McCormack, James Lou, Jordan Mason of course Scott White as I mentioned so they'll be certainly looking to get James Lou more involved in this game and of course there's going to be an interesting battle of the ones John Dale up against Callum Marshall both have been outstanding this afternoon here we go then Scott White oh we clever a cheeky kick up 10 metres into the uh, the Selka Cup but it's been knocked on so it doesn't matter the referee didn't go 10 sure. no it didn't go 10 so they'll go uh, the tap and go here Selka on the ball Jones in feeds out to Gavin Craig Craig into Scott Henry Henry offloads to Jones Jones oh, he's tackled with it but without the ball but Melrose pick up through Macy into Scott McCormack McCormack up to the halfway line and McCormack makes the break he's been chased off by Fraser Hartness good tackle from Hartness on the Selkirk 22 it's the final here at Gallas Rob Taylor picks up however no. in fact, oh, you know there's another advantage Selkirk could have been away but uh, Selkirk where Melrose are penalised for holding on so they've got the ball on the 22 metre line fed out to Fraser Hartness Hartness spots a gap he goes through it but Graham Dodds takes him to ground five metres inside the Selkirk half picked up then by Jones along the line to Gavin Craig Craig looking for the gap oh he's just about found it as well breaks the tackle out to Jones now Jones could be away here Lee Jones is he away into Rob Taylor Taylor then to Scott Henry Henry on the halfway line for Selkirk trying to go round Wallace he does that feeds the ball out wide that's taken on now by Ben Mayer 12 metres inside the Melrose half but well, certainly Melrose have got numbers there Scott Henry is tackled to the ground outside the Melrose 22 but Selkirk in possession Ben Mayer makes a dummy he's inside the 22 he's got McCormack to beat but a good tackle again going in by Melrose inside the Melrose 22 it's all Selkirk at the moment and Selkirk are going to get a scrum no score in this final Selkirk nil Melrose nil a minute and a half gone but Selkirk looking the more sprightly scrum down then Melrose ball on the halfway line and the ball knocked backwards and it's Scott White's hand he feeds it out to James Lewis inside the Melrose half oh Lou nice he breaks right up in the middle of the park James Lou then cutting inside he just knocks over Gavin Craig but well done Scott Henry who pegs him back inside that 22 Melrose trying to recycle through Scott White out to John Dale Dale then to Macy to be 10 metres short John Dale trying to crash through has he got the legs to go all the way no he hasn't as Melrose camped on the Selkirk try line the ball shipped out to Wallace and Wallace crashes over as a pop pass from Scott White and first blood to Melrose Melrose 5 it's Selkirk nil Scott Henry on the ball at the moment on the halfway line it comes out Bill Wallace chasing Carl Marshall does well to offload it into Gav Craig Craig then on the halfway line cuts inside he's going in along Gav Craig has he got the legs to go down McCormack he's pinning back there oh great running from Gavin Craig offloads oh he couldn't feed into Rob Taylor and it's McCormack back there for Melrose a metre short of the Melrose try line so have Selkirk turned it over I think they have and it's Scott Henry the man with ball in hand but it's certainly tight in there the ball's going to go to ground and it's going to be Ben Mayer to whip this ball out comes out to Hartness he's got certainly a Callum Marshall out on the outside and it's going to be Callum Marshall who's going to go in for the try and it's all level in this final Melrose 5 it's Selkirk 5 six and a half minutes gone in the first half Selkirk 7 Melrose 5 McCormack feeds the ball out to White comes out to James Lou knocks it on in front of his own post Selkirk playing the advantage at the moment Hartness picks up and he goes over the line and it's now Selkirk extending their lead Fraser Hartness good refereeing as well played the advantage Lou knocked on and it's Fraser Hartness who takes the ball and crashes over Selkirk 12 Melrose 5 well what Selkirk are doing here uh, is, is what Melrose haven't had all afternoon and that's the right in their faces you know and I mean that, that was just a mistake because the Selkirk player was right in his face and that's what led the knock on and then Gavin Craig steps up yet again knocks it between the sticks Selkirk 14 Melrose 5 as the ball comes up Onuk Benmere running onto the ball and Scott Henry all kicks through Rob Taylor is chasing he could get a try here oh did he knock it on he knocked it on he knocked it on over the try line oh. would you believe it the bounce of the ball there he thought he was in they'll scrum it down good work from Benmere though Selkirk 14 it's Melrose 5 and John Dale goes in to clue that ball but it's Rob Taylor and co in there the ball's come out Cal Marshall 
ball waiting in the middle as ball picked up by Fraser Harness. The Harness is through deep into injury time in the first half and it's going to be Fraser Harness with his second of the final and it's now Selkirk 19, Melrose 5. Gavin Craig then with the conversion attempt, he smacks that one over and that now makes it Selkirk 21, Melrose 5. Well Melrose with a lot of work to do as the referee blows for half time. Halfway line feeds out to Wallace and this is a dream start for Melrose in the second half. You've got what about 18 seconds on the clock and Wallace touches down for Melrose. Selkirk 21, Melrose 10. Yeah we've got a game on, it was just a big wide open space that just all opened up there and uh, again you know it all came from John Diel. Callum Marshall was up very quick on him, tried to spoil it. But it was Dodge coming in. in. And it was, it was Dodge yeah. coming in and he took the ball on and I mean it was just absolutely fantastic from Melrose there. This this final now can go, I mean I know that Selkirk are nine points in front but I mean this final could go anyway and it, I mean the game's just really really opening up, the gaps are starting to appear and you know these pacey guys they're just going to exploit them. Gavin Craig gets it out to Lee Jones, Jones and goes round over Macy and Jones has left him for dead and Lee Jones is away for Selkirk and he's going to touch down and it's Selkirk 26, it's Melrose 12, we've got what just six and a bit minutes to go in this final so I think really now Melrose with it all to do in the remainder of this second half Harness puts the ball in well eventually comes in as Scott McCormack hacks the ball ahead but it's picked up though by Gavin Craig Craig then back inside taken on by Marshall in front that's Ross Nixon and Nixon go for the gap and he's through and Nixon could go all the way oh he stops he feeds it out to Jones he ain't going to be caught and Jones has been chased by Anderson and I think that's going to seal it and sell Kirk are going to go back to the top of the Kings of the Sevens League. It's Selkirk 31, it's Melrose 12. The ball in the hands of Callum Anderson. Anderson now trying to break out of the Melrose 22. Oh, he's lost the ball. The referee playing advantage. In goes Jones to get that ball back up. And now here comes Selkirk. They're inside the Melrose 22. Good work though from James King. The ball was out. And a pick up and it's going to be Gavin Craig. And he dives over the line. A mix up in the back there by Melrose. That that's going to seal it, Selkirk 36, it's Melrose 12, Selkirk are now cruising. It's all over, it's absolutely all over. It's Selkirk 38, it's Melrose 12, John Dale on the ball, it comes out then to Chris Hardy's now on the field for Melrose, comes out to Scott White, White then looking for the gap, feeds it to James King, King, where's he going to go, runs backwards, 10 metres now, inside the Melrose half, out to Scott McCormack, McCormack looking for the gap, he's going to try and go through it, he looks to offload. Scott White's in support, comes out to DL, John DL then on the ball gets it out to James Lou, Lou then over the halfway line, he's been tackled by Andrew Murray, breaks the tackle, he's got John DL in support, DL crashing through but good work from Lee Jones, just about up to the Selkirk 22, Hartness goes in to steal and here comes Fraser Hartness, we're into injury time now in this final, Selkirk 38 Melrose 12, Gavin Craig's got the ball and Gavin Craig is pinning his lugs back, will he go in the right hand corner, he, yes, does. he does, he touches is down and it's Selkirk 43 it's Melrose 12 and I think it's going to be all over here now the referee looking at his watch great yeah, bit of play shaking hands Stuart yeah in fact the referee's whistle goes yeah. in this final and it's Selkirk defeat Melrose by 43 points to 12 Definitely worth it uh, to win the final, especially the score we um, won by as well, 43-12, it was really good. I mean, that's a big win against Melrose, isn't it? I mean, they've been playing well the past few weeks, they were good. Uh, outplayed Watsonians last week at Peebles, and, uh, but we were up for it and uh, I would took it to them and it was good.